John Barnes is a renowned NASTA. And how I got in touch with him? 20 years ago, in 1998, when I opened my business, Sujok North America Incorporated, in the beginning, um, um, I was teaching people about the hand correspondence to the whole body. And uh, Sujok from Korean means hand and foot. I kept receiving these brochures um, with this... Uh, uh, a gray-haired man on the cover. And so finally, it was in 1999 when I went to my first workshop and it became an immediate ignition. In fact, there was a very interesting story. Um, in October, when I went to three myofascial release classes, I had to park far, far away from uh, where the class was. And the class was humongous, three classes, myofascial release one, myofascial unwinding, and myofascial release two. Uh, you know, I brought my own massage table and it was a heavy piece. And because the parking garage where I left my car was so far away, I had to carry my massage table for a couple of blocks and then, by foot, go on a third floor, come all the way to my car. And guess what? And then I'm finding out that in my backpack, the keys to my car are missing. So, uh, obviously, I couldn't leave my massage table right next to my car. So I had to get it over and walk all the way for a couple blocks, first down the stairs and a couple blocks, back to where the class was. And you know what? At that time, I was so kind of like shy, you know? I was shy. I wasn't even like aware. I mean, even though uh, I had masters in English, uh, including other degrees, uh, PhD in Turkmen and masters in Russian language literature, um, I wasn't quite sure about my language, English language, how I speak, you know. And because there was so much terminology, it was like I was like catching up with understanding, you see. And uh, uh, it was a huge class. I believe there was like maybe like 300 people in class. And John Barnes was teaching at the stage here. I made sure that I never crossed the first half of the class, you know in the space, that big space, in that big hotel. And I stayed in the second half of the class. So when my keys disappeared and I had to walk all the way back, so I'm entering into this huge room and I'm actually seeing John Barnes standing at the end of the space here. And my table was about like one third to the end of the space. And, uh, uh, and there are just a few people cleaning up the floor and the building. I looked around, I didn't see my keys. And I, with my heartbeat, you know, like at my throat, I approached John Barnes and uh, I uh, uh, asked him if uh, somebody did find my car keys. So he used his microphone or something and he announced to a whole room of all the people, I mean, just a few people who were there cleaning, and um, um, and guess what? My keys were found. And you know where they were found? They were found all the way at the stage when John Barnes was performing. Uh, I mean, giving the lectures and showing us how the everything MFR works in a in a student. Uh, I mean, the um, uh, client patient cases that the people who he worked on. So that was a huge revelation for me. And since I'm really trained to pay attention to when something like that happens, so I uh, really, really did pay attention, thinking that myofascial release might be something like really, really huge in my life. 